layer mixed media project, otherwise known as a mixed media hot dog. What the heck is that? Well, mixed media hamburger is my favorite seven layer. Oh no, here we go. And a hot dog is any mixed media project that has four layers in it. Now to recap, I don't know every single way to do mixed media. There's like infinite ways. So I actually reached out to my mixed media friends Right, Tippy? And they let me know their favorite four layers. And so I'm going through them one by one and giving them a shot. So today we are doing a project. Um, oh my God, my cat. Today we're doing a project by Alexa Dobler. Let me show you here. This is my hot dog um, packet. So I'm going through these one by one. You can actually, I actually have this available as a download. So you can actually have it if you want. Um, this was the first one which was uh, ink colored pencils. Second one was watercolors, colored pencils and wax pastels. And today, and that was the one that I did here on YouTube. And today we are doing this one by Alexa Dobler. Don't get fresh girlfriend, don't even. Oh, she's getting her swatty hand ready for me. This one we're gonna start out with doing cardboard. And then we are gonna use Stabilo All. Now she didn't say whether she's activating the Stabilo, but I bet she is because all mixed media artists love some Stabilo, right Tippy? Right, Tippy? Oh, you do. You do, do. And then she goes into pan pastels, which I'm super fired up about. I've only used them a couple times. I have my ridiculous first attempt here on YouTube and everyone made fun of me because I did it on YouTube, uh, Upo paper. And then we're going to top it off with some cats and a paint pen. So I can't wait to get started. Uh, let me dispose of my cat. She's literally on the piece of cardboard that I need to be crafting with. Um, and then we will get started on the project. All right. Okay, so just to recap, layer one is always the plates, which is like your substrate, what's holding everything together. So in this case, Alexa is using cardboard. So I'm, for all of these, going to be doing exactly. Ah, Alexa, I'm not talking to you. Be quiet. Good Lord, it's like my cat, it's Alexa. Good Lord, um, where's my thing? Okay, so I have cardboard, and then I made a note on that same PDF that says smother in gesso. So, I can, I can do that. All mixed media artists live and breathe for some gesso. So, here we go, yeah. I pretty much always use a sponge brush, just like I'm using right now. They're so cheap and you can use one over and over again. Um, yeah. It's unnecessarily long, I might cut it. Wait, my, um, oh, I'm like tagging my phone. Why is my phone even here? So yeah, nice, thin, Coat. So gesso, in case you're not sure what gesso is, it's a primer for acrylic paint. So it, it readies any substrate to be able to accept acrylic paint. A lot of people use it as a basis for watercolors, but it actually works. Watercolors work better if you prep your surface with absorbent brown, uh, brown, ground. Absorbent ground is gesso for watercolors. So just if you want to like level up your project or make the most or out of your watercolor projects or make them react the best, um, I highly recommend using absorbent ground in as opposed to gesso. But I know we're gonna be using Stabilo All, um, which is like a rough and ready watercolor. Um, it's a water soluble pencil. So I've tried it a hundred million times. It kind of works like gangbusters on anything. So you could do absorbent ground or gesso. So I'm gonna use gesso because it's a little bit whiter than absorbent ground is. It's a little bit thicker. So I'm using it in today's project, but I um, just wanna share that little factoid with you. So I need this to dry in order for me to use my Stabilo on or else it'll be activated and get all gunky and gross. I'm not gonna record that because that's super boring. So I'm gonna dry this and come right back and we'll start on layer two, which is the main ingredient, which in this case is the Stabilo All. So I'll show you that pencil in just a second. Okay, so next step, Stabilo All pencil. My gesso is all dry to the touch. Um, I'm gonna sketch a little bit first with my mechanical pencil because 
uh, gesso does not is not a race and when I go to add the water you'll see very quickly that it's like uh, dangerously water soluble so I'm gonna just I'm using this this is actually from a copyright free image from uh, unsplash but honestly if you're just messing around on your own it's, you can use whatever you want um, so here's her big hair and here's her, the back with her dress is here. I can't wait already. I'm like impatient to get to the, um, <laughs> the pan pastel part. Look at this bouffant. Somebody should bring back big hair. I'm doing in my drawing club at Awesome Art School, we're doing the uh, drawing the decades and we're actually just started the 1950s. That's why I picked out this reference. It's actually for my drawing students. And it's so interesting. We started in the 20s. We kind of did it. We just did a deep dive on the 40s. And it's so interesting to see the hairstyles change. They change so much from decade to get decade. It's really interesting. All right, so here's kind of like her overall shape. And when I'm doing these YouTube videos, I know that uh, people have things to do and places to be, so I, I don't spend like, I'm not making this my life's work. It's very quick and dirty because I'm really more interested in the how the art supplies are going to react to one another than actually making this like a perfect, piece of art. I honestly just have too many things else to do today. To be honest, I have a, a kid sick at home. I got to pick up another kid in uh, not that long. What her right nostril is, is it me or is it ginormous? It's ginormous. <laughs> Girlfriend. And then her eye line, we can chop here. Her eyes are so big and bold and beautiful. And when we get to the, um, I'm going to make them even bigger. When we get to the Stabilo part, watch out. Um, I have an awesome video. I know that sounds really conceited. I have a video that I love because I just love the drawing um, that I did. It's called What is the Stabilo All, I believe, and why I'm obsessed with it. Um, and that is also on this channel. Okay, blah, 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 eyeball. And here, look at her eyebrow, it's killer. It's kind of this, and then it goes up. All right, blah, 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 eye over here. She's very like Jackie Kennedy features with like giant eyes that are very spread apart. And again, I'm just kind of doing a quick and dirty version. Her eyes are huge, they really are. Kind of get when you draw so many faces, uh, you get really familiar with like what's quote unquote a normal proportion when pe and then you start realizing and recognizing when eyes are too close together or too far apart. And her eyes are uh, unusually largely proportioned, probably why she's the model. And yeah, that's just not, it's not, these are not typical results. Okay, we have our little outline. I'm trying to hurry my bestest. She looks disjointed from her body, but whatever. We don't care. We have things to do. Okay. So when you do Stabilo, I'm going to just do, see these amazing highlights? Yeah, we're going to preserve that as much as we can. So Stabilo, if you've never played around with them before, they are bananas water reactive. Like, like it takes nothing to get these suckers ready to party on your plate <laughs> or your substrate. So I'm not even actually adding like a crazy amount. It's, you kind of have to work up to it. Cause sometimes definitely less can be more. So we have this kind of flick. And again, I'm moving really fast. I don't do like my serious projects this fast, <laughs> but this is just, Fun and free. Um, so we have this shading. Have her amazing eyebrow. Make sure you can see all the places. Um, and I typically do like two coats 
I'll do like one and I'll, I'll activate it with water and then I will do another one and leave it dry. We'll see what we do. We'll see what happens because this one has the unexpected pan pastel layer and that's the whole reason too I asked my friends like what are you using because um, there's so many different combinations to, to try. So I kind of want to, I like that everyone gave me their opinions because it kind of like helps us all cut to the chase. Like just give me the ones that work, right? I don't want the layers that don't work. Um, so I love that these are all tried and true um, layers that makes us all be able to art with more confidence. Um, and I think we could all use a little bit more confidence. I know there's enough things to worry about when you're at your art table. So at least it'd be cool to know which layers work and which don't ahead of time. It's kind of like a giant cheat sheet. And by the way, that PDF is like 30 pages. So uh, if you want it, just let me know in the comment section and I'll drop you a link and you can download it from there. And then here's like a necklace that I have no time to be doing. So we'll just like pop a beautiful diamond there. Her neck is literally cray cray. It looks like it's completely disjointed from her face. So just ignore, just bear with me. Okay, so now that was the Stabilo part. So now it's the super fun part, which is the activation. I'm gonna be using my Polina Bright favorite watercolor brushes because she's a rock star. I just did a video on her and why I love her and her brushes. Um, she's awesome. Talk about talented, yikes. All right, so as you can see, with just a flickeroony of my uh, wet water brush, it is like no joke. It's no joke, guys. <laughs> it's like aggressive arting. That's what they should nickname these Stabilo Alls pencils. It's like you can't use it if you're timid in any way, shape, or form. It looks like her shading is here. But isn't that bananas? That's like two seconds. And this the font, the font is no joke. I do want this, there should be like a highlight. Oh, I kind of, I'm kind of doing my own highlights here. So I'm just not really doing anything other than applying water. Isn't that so fun and magical? And then these, you can, here's her necklace. Oh, her poor neck. <laughs> it's like, here's her neck and then her face is like over here, like wrong, just totally wrong. Don't care, whatever. And then we have her eyes where eye makeup is La Chose. And, and the Stabilo All is so fun for doing shading because it's like instant. And then she's got these. I just stuck my entire arm over here in it. Now, I, I, we need to leave a little playing room for the, um, what's it called? The pan pastels, of which I have a very limited experience. So that's going to be amusing. At least it'll be amusing to me. Um, yeah, <laughs> here's her nose, and then this, and then this. Now, Alexa, I don't think she does like super realistic portraits or anything. And frankly, I normally don't either. But like I said, I got, I have research for my, my drawing club. So I'm happy to uh, mess around, get my feet wet with, <laughs> with this reference, even though her head is on, oh my lordy on in a very funny way let's just put it that way and the thing too that you should know about this tabillo is it doesn't stop reacting like at no point does it stop it just keeps reacting okay so we did our we did our plate which is the cardboard we did layer two which is the stabilo and now we get to do pan pastels yes i'm gonna go get mine out right now i'll see you in a moment okay Sorry, but my camera cutting in and I don't know what is going on. So I just have to show you Alexa's adorable little faces she does with the pan pastels and how fun all those colors are. I think it's so creative. 
and so fun. Um, I am still such a newbie with pan pastels. It's like not even funny. I have like my like brand new set. <laughs> and um, yeah, I don't even like have all the things. So I'm, yeah, I'm just a super noobs. So I'm just going to do a little bit and just see how it works and enjoy myself. I'm just doing this for fun. But first thing I notice is, yeah, this just poofs right on top. And again, I never would have thought of this combination had it not been for um, just curating this, this packet of things. Maybe what I'll do is, so I have this on my little makeup brush here thingy. So maybe I'll just like wipe that off around the edges while I have that on my brush or on here. And then I can switch to a no color. Ooh, I have these little things. I have all the things, but I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> um, ooh, for her lips. Well, let's just do like shades of Pinkie Poo. I do think it it grabs nicely. Grabs is like a weird word. It, at least it works. I, I wish this would stop pouncing. Definitely appears to be working with the little applicator that I have. Just kind of give her a little a little touch of colors. How about some cheeky weeks? Oh, I don't, I literally don't know. Oh, there's, it's so like infused with color. How do I get that to lighten? I'm going to just blend it and see if I can kind of blend it out forever. Does that work? I am such a noober, noober duber. Okay. But the, this is the cool thing though. So I love about YouTube, it like forces me out of my comfort zone. I don't even know what color that was. I forget which one I used. So like if it wasn't for YouTube, I wouldn't be trying this with you right now. I would just be working just fine, but this is like way more fun than what I'm supposed to be doing. Look at how cute she is. We even give her another little dollop. So there's like this scrunchy way. Oh, it's so, okay. I just barely tapped, barely tapped. <laughs> and look at this infusion of color. Okay, then I guess we're going to use all of that. Are we? I guess we will. Oh my Lord. This just doesn't stop. What happens if I pounce? Pouncing with me. It just like never ends. All right, well, I guess we're going up. We'll go up and down. <laughs> and how about this side? We'll also go up and down on, on that side. All right, so this basically is becoming our skin color. She's a little splotchy looking. It's not e exactly what I was going for, but like I didn't really know what I was going for, so who cares? Here's like a peachy skinny tone color. And again, I, I'm not meaning for this to be like a serious portrait. I'm just learning and seeing how the layers all go together. Are they friends? They definitely seem pretty friendly right now, as far as that goes. As far as blending. These are just whatever colors are on this palette that I pulled out. Just so I get like super antsy. I'm like, and let's just fill this all in. But really we can. Now let's do, let's get some shading going. Mm, now I'm just tapping. Just tap, I don't even know what color that was. I'm tapping it into like a dark blue because there'd be some shade going here. I mean, it kind of like blends to a purple. That's pretty. 
yeah, I'm so grateful to have uh, this packet of ideas. And I, by the way, I fully intend on going on YouTube and messing around with all of these different um, layers, scenarios, one by one. Oh, I'm not even looking at the reference. I'm not really sure I care if this looks like the reference or not. Nope, pretty, let me check. Nope, don't care. All right, here's some blue. Yeah, she's crazy, but it's super cool. What if we put, what is this color? Some blue in her hair, sure. Why not? It's kind of, it reminds me of like a tinted photograph. You know, like color, color form or whatever that's called. I wonder how this would work if I re-wet it also. <laughs> oh, I don't know what she is. Now she looks like she's wearing lederhosen. That was supposed to be like her skin and now it looks like a shirt <laughs> because i made it that color wait no be skin turn back to skin my bad oh like she's wearing like suspenders or overalls not quite not quite what i was going for all right well needless to say this it works really well on the cardboard Better than my Yupu paper disaster experiment? Yes. That was, it was laughable. Everyone had a good reason to be laughing at me. Okay, so we did those layers. Now, the last thing on her, ah, I pulled it out where to go. Oh, so the last thing she has are paint, is a paint pen on top. This is um, awesome. I do worry a little bit that the paint pen is gonna like pick up on some of the pan pastels, but I do also know that pastels are like, our, our pan pastels are super, um, what's the word? Well, they're good for mixed media projects. So I have so many options. So here's a white paint pen, it's just sitting out. So I can try that, let's add some, can add some highlights while we're here. Why not? But let's also, we can also add some like black highlights, black highlights, <laughs> black outlines. And do I have a black? I'm just like, whatever is already on my art table is what's getting used at this moment. Although I want like a darker one. Oh yes, this is good. So here's a paint marker in black. I wish it was even a bolder one. So I my test is on this to see if it kind of gunks up or does it like stay strong. So far it's okay, but it's also probably a testament to the paint marker itself. She, oh, she's got like awesome, um, she's awesome makeup on under and over. So I'm kind of just highlighting what's, what's already there. <laughs> she's torn between being like a crazy, <laughs> whimsical and like realistic and she's just like a hot mess express stuck in between she's like what are you doing what are you doing to me <laughs> but i want to test out all the things all right so my paint marker and this is what i was trying to test was to see if it would get stuck or be like like if the pan pastels would get kind of like absorbed or it will be dragging the elements of the pan pastel, but it's actually super fine. 
And I'm definitely putting it to the test. She's like, my neck is on crooked. Do you mind? Oh, she's also from the UK, if you didn't know. All right. So that's crazy, like crazy amounts of fun. I definitely think that it, I think it worked great. I don't see any reason to think this wouldn't be an awesome combination. Not that I doubted anything, but it's like I also don't, I have never tried it before, so I don't know. Maybe I had a discovery, positive or negative, like, oh, we shouldn't do like this and this. But like, I didn't, that's, you know, how we learn pretty much everything. Um, that's how I learn anyways, just learn by doing. Let's give her some crazy, crazier hair. feel like we can take this bouffant to the next level. Maybe we add some scribble art on top. But maybe that will also hide the fact that she's wearing a dirndl, just saying. I don't think any of us expected that. But also we need to like tie in the background in like a fun way. We could also do that with our Stabilo All. This would also be like a fantastic journal page. Yes, and like I now I want to add more and more color, which we totally could. So, um, but I'm gonna stop there because I think it was a it was an awesome experiment. I think it definitely worked. I'm so grateful that Alexa gave us her uh, two cents for the for the hot dog packet, so we can all oh no, what did I do? So we can all make super fun things in all of our mixed media endeavoring. Today and every day. All right, have fun. I'll be back next time with another one. Um, let's see what's next on the docket. Just so you know what you have to look forward to. We have Sharon Holmberg. She's a huge part of my Facebook group community. So talented, it's not even funny. And so this is her uh, order of events. So this will be coming next. So we have the plate, we have mixed media journal, we have some colored pencils, watercolor back room with collage butterflies. I am in. I will see you for that one coming up. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. And if you want to grab that PDF, so you can do these along with me or go your own way. Just let me know in the comments. Bye.